Und damit ein herzliches Willkommen und Hallo zu einem Werbepart. Let's Play Fake Grand Order. Ich bin es, euer Dems Muffix. Beim letzten Mal sind wir hier geflohen aus Sheffield. Oh, da ist nicht mehr allzu viel da. Borgard wurde hier festgehalten von niemand anderem als dem äh, miesen Bergard. Dieser hat hier mit uns gespielt, mit der Werten Mesh. Sie konnte hier Borgard zurückbringen und unsere beiden guten, ich sage immer wieder Goblin-Freude, Rob ähm, und sein Bruder haben uns hier gerettet und dabei dafür ihr Leben geopfert. Wir sind hier nun geflohen. Ich denke, Borgard wird auch bald das Zeitliche segnen. Und die goldene Frage ist natürlich, wie geht es mit unserer immer noch Amnesie geplagten Mesh weiter? So hat Mike sich schon seine Erinnerung zurück um sie nicht. The ferry to escape from Sheffield, evacuated to the cave north of the city. The twisted hall of the Thistle Hill, a dread cave known to be home to a single night call. Borgard said he had already the cave to serve as a shelter in the event of an emergency. He said he had defeated the night call himself and that it was now a perfectly safe hideout. Naturally, it contains stores of food for humans and the fairy's favorite kind of oak trees. Boggart had done his duty as the Lord of Sheffield, but now... Please, Lord Boggart, drink this. It's chiseled this morning, you. It should at uh, least keep you from getting perched. Bogart had gone still, his body horrible caught, the light drained from his eyes. The strength hadn't really returned. His march to safety had been one final act of defiance from the Lord of Sheffield. Child of prophecy, are you there? Yes, Lord Bogart, I'm right here. Lord, huh? Well, that makes sense. There are the fairies here after all. This cave leads to Eastern Nordwena, Britain's Leyland Caverns. They can take you out to any of the other cities without needing to set foot above ground. You can use them to make your escape. God, now that you've shaken the Queen's pursuers, you are to remain here for the time being. Whatever you do, do not ask Nokariba for protection. She may be a magnus uh, to those who join, but she is ruthless to anyone who tried to leave. She's a little better than Morgan. If you must seek help, go south and find the road. <coughs> Lord Bogger, please! You need to rest! Don't worry. My fellow guards and I will keep the people of Sheffield safe. The people of Sheffield, huh? I built Sheffield out of anger at being banished from Norwich a hundred years ago. I never realized it until now, but I cared more about it than I realized. Being the lord of this domain and its people, it gave me a fire sense of purpose. Yes, I did hate Morgan. I hated Woodworth and Spriggan too. I wanted to rule Fairy Britain to get revenge on all of them. But the truth is, I wanted to protect Norwich as well. I wanted to save my people and live up to their expectations of me. And above all, I wanted to go back to home, back to the city of Sticky Ocean, Wind and Fancy and see Craft Shop. How strange, I always thought I hated that city, restless atmosphere. Do you understand these odd feelings, child of prophecy? Yes, I do. You've described our hometown, your hometown, right from the start. You were rallying soldiers just so you could save Norwich, Lord Bogart. <laughs> I must have been more transparent than I thought. <laughs> Tell me, child of prophecy, you who hates war, what happened to that iron cylinder? She shook her head from side to side, unsure if Bogart could even see her. I see. It seems I unwittingly gave you an excuse to escape. I don't regret anything. I did ask the Lord of Sheffield, but... Mash, right to the end I wanted. And so Bogart quietly breathed his last. Even as the fairies grieved the loss of the Lord, they were troubled by worry over what tomorrow may bring. But just when the mood in the cave couldn't get any more disponent, the lone girl raised her head with a strong sense of purpose. Lady Mesh, we are going with your shield. Hey! She's not Bogart's wife anymore, so what are you gonna do now, Mesh? I'm going to Norwich. Norwich? Lady Mesh? By herself? Yes, 
and not because I may be the child of prophecy. I'm going because Norwich needs help. Right now, I want to save it more than anything. It feels like that's what I have to do. Then, then we come with you. It's our job to keep the child of prophecy safe. Don't be daft, you guys' job is to protect the townspeople, right? I know how you feel, but you can't uh, just abandon your post like that. Unless you want Bucket haunting you from the afterlife. Well, yes, that's true, but, but we can't send Lady Mesh out alone. She won't be alone, I'm going with her. Plus, we have our guides right here. Sure, Mr. Wolf, I knew you would stay with me. Heißt du, sie hat den Angriff von Melusine abgewehrt? The wolf turned without so much as a sound and began walking away. Deep into the dark, dark caverns that lead to, to the labyrinth known as Odwena. Huh? You mean, we yeah, are leaving right now? Somebody is impatient. Then again, I guess time isn't exactly on our side. If we are going to take the Odwena, it will take us over a week to go to Norwich. And since there's no telling when this calamity pool might make a move, we don't have any time to rest. I suppose you're right. The Odrina is a dangerous place. We would only slow Lady Mesh down if we went with along. Good luck, Lady Mesh. And thank you for bringing Lord Bogart back to us. Not at all. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Take care of yourself, everyone. I'm going to save Norwich as the Knight of Sheffield. And so the girl's journey truly began. While there are other dangerous for, the, uh, nah, for her to overcome in the Ottavina, the stories will have to wait for another time. The other child of prophecy would make their way through the labyrinth, befriending new fairies along the way to arrive in the fateful city of Norwich. What will happen there? You just have to see in the main story. <laughs> Leute, was ist denn das? Ich glaube, das ist Oberon, der hier das erzählt. Weil es kann eigentlich nur Oberon sein, der das so, so erzählt. Lalalala, la, ist alles eine schöne Geschichte und nichts Schlimmes passiert. Oh, die, diese Girls of die so Fantasy sind so gut, Mann. Also, blub. Nun geht es wieder zurück in den Herbstwald. Und dann schauen wir mal, was unser guter Freund, der Werte Oberon, hier darauf finden. Inzwischen befinden wir uns in Kapitel 8, übrigens von 9. The Raka River. Hört sich irgendwie schon wieder an. Bedrücklich an. Aber es hört sich irgendwie alles bedrücklich an. <lacht> das ist so gut, Mann. Spy Oberon. Den, 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 Bar Oberon on the road. And that's where things stand in Britain. Get it now? You mean you traveled across all of Britain in only two days? And in a tiny body, no less. It was uh, tight enough to make a end, of real, uh, year, uh, end of the year rush feel like a leisure trip. I hope you get to under two. Nope, sorry, I don't get it at all. It just feels like I've been subjected to a slasher of somebody else's vacation. You've got to fill us on the last few specifics. All I got from that slide was peaceful, peaceful, dangerous, peaceful, gobswick. <laughs> hey, wake up! <laughs> sorry about that, I was lose a bit of intelligence when I switched to my wrecking form. Long story short, nothing major is happening in Gloucester Salisbury. In Camelot, rumor has it that the Queen has begun preparing some kind of massive spell. The Calamity Pool is apparently going to tear through Norwich in a few days. And in Sheffield, the stronghold up north, well, I didn't learn much of anything there, since there was no one there anymore. Didn't you say it was still too soon to go to Norwich before? All I can say there is the, the time is now, right? You and Da Vinci are serious about uh, saving Britain now. And for the first time, uh, Toria has companions she knows she can depend on. Not to mention Mormaz's extra muscle. Honestly, I wish we still had at least a little more firepower to work with. But this is probably the best we can hope for. After all, 
There really isn't any time to spare. If you're going to Norwich, it's now or never. Is that really it? Are you sure there uh, isn't another reason? I noticed you didn't uh, seem like yourself when you were telling us about Sheffield. Wow, oh, me? Don't be silly. Of course I was myself. The idea that, if we are lucky, we might just gain a powerful new ally from Sheffield never even crossed my mind. Besides, I said we were just taking a short break here, right? It's not a good idea to stay in one place for too long right now. You guys have a lot of eyes on you after all. I mean, it would be nice to have a proper base, but my forest isn't cut out for that. If an enemy were to invade us here, we wouldn't even last a day. Now, Chef... Whoops, sorry, that just slipped out. Anyway, the most important thing we need uh, now is more allies, which is why I'm saying Norwich should be our next stop. You get it, right, Maxi? I hear the declaration she made too. You know as well as I do that uh, what Artoria needs to be a good child of prophecy now in confidence and to get some accomplishments under her belt. Exactly. If she's going to save all of Britain, the best way to get started is by saving a city. Now I gotcha. If she can get rid of her calamity, then even Queen Morgus give up on That'll change the child of prophecy from a rumor to reality. Nobody will doubt she's the real deal after that. I mean, that's true, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm powerful enough to get rid of the calamity pool just yet. Ah, sure you are. Long as you still got the kind of spirit you shot at the auction house, you can do anything. Worst case, it'll be uh, a learning experience. Don't worry. If you end up falling to pieces of it, I'll pick it up for you. Besides, isn't being reckless kind of your thing? You know what I'm talking about, right, Maxi? If anything, learning experience are when you do your best work. What do you mean? Always play his thing safe. Yeah, that's right, she does. Yeah. Oh, oh. Arturus like a big fuzzy bear. What's the uh, at all? Bravery, spirit, speed, that works. I just know, I'm so sure that she'll find a way to save Norwich too. So let's get going uh, right now. Come on, Norwich Calamity City, await us. Together, I know we can stall all save Britain. Who are you? Oh yes, hello, nice to meet you. I'm Gareth, a vagrant with plans to become a tourist attendant. Ah, come nicht raus, Woten. Here, here, lunch, lunch. Oh, thanks. It's really nice of you, Doga, to feed me like this. Man, all the food you've been giving me the last two days has been a yummy. This food is great. I'm sorry, but can we get back on track, it sounds like? That's right. I've been following you guys since you left Gloucester. Well, since you left the auction house specifically, the way you handled Tristan was amazing. Her fairy is scared of death to all her fur, but you totally shut her down verbally and made swiftly. I haven't been eating nothing but vegetables every day for 16 years or something. Start over with a paratric class for babies. Ah, just remembering those classic lines make me want to improve my own work collaboratively. Anyway, that was when I knew without a doubt that you were the master I was meant to serve. And of course, I've been observing you, you are experts after classes too. You don't hesitate to help fairies in need, no matter how shady they seemed. I don't know of any other fairy in all of Britain who can trust others like you have. I don't know much about Ein's prophecy or what uh, the rumors say. But I do know you're destined to save Britain. So please, Artoria, please let me come with you on your pilgrimage. And I'm just a low class fairy. Uh, who's been uh, flitting from city uh, to city up until now, but I'm certain I can be of use. I, um, gosh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm not really anything special, so being someone's lord, I don't know. You do know you've got a huge grin on your face, right, Artoria? Huh? I do? Okay, Artoria, deep breaths, deep breaths. Let me ask you something. Why do you want to be Artoria's attendant? 
You said you are not interested in either Einz's prophecy or the rumors, right? So, if you don't believe in the child of prophecy, why devote yourself to her? Ah, uh, well... Uh, to be honest, I really just have been a vagrant up until now. I don't even know what kind of fairy I am. I'm not a part of the Wing Clan or the Earth Clan or the Fang Clan. I'm not especially good at anything. But the one thing I've always had in purpose... This time... I want to keep everyone safe. This time, I want to be able to put up a real fight. And I want to help all the people I see suffering everywhere I go. That's always been my purpose. But I'm not very strong. All I can really do is bite my tongue and grit my teeth. So far, I've only managed to get by by using my own weapon to destroy Moors. Then one day, I saw one of the Queen's Tumblins from a distance and I immediately thought, I want to be a knight like that too. I want to be a knight who can keep everyone safe. I want to serve as a king I can truly respect. But soon after I heard that Queen Morgan was actually a bad king and the only job of the Tumblin was killing Moors. And I thought my dream could never come true in Britain as it stands now. But then! I heard of that fairy. Who could uh, save all of Britain? Uh, would uh, be for, up for auction. So even though I don't, uh, didn't have much hope, I snuck in to see for myself. Then I had my fateful encounter with Victoria here, there, and my dream becoming a knight finally came true. Oh well, it hasn't uh, come true just yet, but it feels like it may as well have so. Um, anyway, that's my reason. Now do you understand why I want to serve her? Oh yes, I get it, looks like. We just have to let you come along then. I thought Morgan might have sent you here to spa on us, but no spy would ever be so awkward. And since it looks like both Arthur and Maxi are in favor of joining us, I have no objection. Besides, we can always use some more fighters on our side. Glad to have you, Gareth. Oh, by the way, you said you didn't know what kind of fairy you were. Well, now I do. Since you are Toria's first retainer, that makes you Gareth the Squire. Ah. Kann ich? Es ist schade, dass ich keine Stimme habe. Ich würde sie rauswählen. Aber nun gut. Okay, Leute, wir machen heute mal ein bisschen früher Schluss. Äh, haben wir auch viel hier Dramatisches erlebt. Und äh, werden uns auf die Jagd uns auch noch Winky Pig. Ah, nee, der ist ja schon tot, Leute. Es sind ja alle so Freunde schon. Stimmt, der wurde auch gefoltert. Da hat man sich mal wieder äh, gemerkt, es lohnt sich nicht unbedingt mit Barrel Geschäfte zu machen. Nun gut, an dieser Stelle erstmal ein Cut und beim nächsten Mal geht es weiter mit Fackel und Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao!